What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to learn how to edit our slab to make it a uh, cantilever. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to edit our floor slab. Okay, so last video we have learned how to add a concrete floor with steel decking. So this time around, we are going to edit this concrete floor to make it cantilever slab edges. Okay, so let's get started. So what I'm going to do is... Uh, Open the project browser, level 2. So this is the floor that we are going to edit, the floor here. So I'm going to open the level 2, double click. And then after that, just zoom in and then make sure you select the 6 inches concrete with metal deck floor that we have created last time. So just click that. Okay, so once you select on the modify floors, shape editing mode panel so there is this edit boundary all right so you just need to select that one there you go so you are now again on the modify floors edit boundary so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this line here of this sketch and then you will notice here there is an option okay on the options bar you will see that there's an option for cantilevers if you want to make a cantilever for your concrete or for the steel that you have created last time. So in our case, we're going to modify the concrete. So we're going to make a cantilever for our concrete slab, not on the steel part, but on the concrete. So let's say, for example, I'm going to type here um, six inches. Okay, so six. Let me just zoom in first. Oops. All right, so not six feet. And just make it zero again okay so let me just zoom in first all right so here and then i'm going to turn on the turn off the thin lines so i can see the line weight here clearly so i'm going to select this line and then for the concrete cantilever options i'm going to change this let's say uh mm, six inches enter okay so as you can see there's now the cantilever Part. So we are not going to make it go inside, but I'm going to make it to the other side. So that's why instead of uh, positive 6 inches, I'm going to make that 6 uh, minus 6 inches. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this because this is the same value that I'm going to use for the rest of the lines or of the sketch. So I'm going to press enter. So it's now on the other side. So I'm just going to select this same procedure, change the concrete value to minus six inches there you go all right so we do it here as well so let's click that change the value there you go here select click okay so if the location of the cantilever is on the wrong uh, position just make it positive or negative all right so just play around with the value so just click that change the concrete value let's say minus six inches there you go so it's correct so same with this one here so select change the value six inches there you go so for this one change value all right now for this one instead of minus six inches i'm going to make it positive six inches there you go and then this one uh six inches there you go okay so there's now our cantilever for the concrete so after that you just need to select your finish and there you have it okay so if you are going to check the section that we have created last time for this one so i'm going to click this section right click and go to view okay just zoom in so that's now the cantilever part of our concrete so as you, as you can see the metal deck is at the center here so it, it stopped here but this one is six inches okay so let me just turn on the thin line so that it will show us the edges without the thickness or the line weight so select that there you go and then let's measure uh this one measure between two references so from here to here that's your six inches okay there you go 
So basically, that's how you edit your uh, floor slab. So if you want to make that cantilever just like that one. Okay, so you just need to edit the floor. You can actually do it here as well on the 3D view. Just select that and then edit boundary if you want to edit your floor slab. All right, so there you have it. So hopefully you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So once again, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.